Hi guys, it's Aslan. Welcome, welcome back. Happy New Year. I hope you're having a great day and get ready for school. It's coming up in a few days. So, um, today is lesson three and the question will be about distance and speed. Okay, a bakery and a library are 120 meters apart. They are located between Hong's house and Jaya's house as shown below. The bakery is exactly halfway between the two houses. One day, Hong and Jaya started cycling from their houses at the same time and they arrived at the library together. Jaya cycled at 70 meters per minute while Hong cycled at a speed 15 meters per minute faster than Jaya. So question A. How much further did Hong cycle than Jaya? So, since the bakery is in the middle, I'm just going to make the line symmetrical. So, I'm going to draw an imaginary library, which is also 120 meters from the bakery. Okay, now, um, the distance from Hong's house to the imaginary library is the same distance as Jaya's house to the actual library. So I'm just going to mark Tom's house with the fake library as Jaya, J. And the distance that Tom traveled is from his house to the actual library. So Hong, H. 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 So, as you can see, the only difference between um, Jaya's distance and Hong's distance is this, the 120 meters and the other 120 meters, the bakery and the library. So, um, to find out the, how much further Hong traveled, it's simply just 120 meters plus 120 meters, which is equal to 240 meters. That's the answer for question A. Now moving on to question B. How far is Jaya's house from the library? So, um, it says that Hong cycle at speed 15 meters per minute faster than Jaya, which means that every minute, Hong would have traveled 15 minutes more. And in the previous question, they already said that Hong traveled 240 meters more. So since um, every minute Hong um, travels 15 meters more, we have to take 240 meters divided by 15 meters, which is equal to 16 minutes. 16 minutes is how long Hong takes to travel 240 meters more than JR. So that means that 16 minutes is the total duration of the whole travel. So, since you know JR's uh, speed, which is 70 meters per minute, you just have to take 70 times 60 minutes, which is equal to... Oh, sorry, 16. 16, sorry, tell us to take 16 minutes. And this is why you should always check your work after you do something. I made that mistake a lot. So, um, 70 meters times 16 minutes is equal to 1,000... Oh, oops. Oh, 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 oops. Okay. 1,120 meters. And that's the answer for question B. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you gained a lot from it. And Happy New Year again. See you next week. Bye.